psychic said i'm a psychic shaman the medium seer i connect to deceased loving spirit guides ancestors archangels the light if you're interested in my services there's a link down in the description box or you can also find me on two social media accounts for Snapchat and instagram thank you for your kind comments like subscriptions donations readings bookings dms messages and reviews and you can call in your deceased loving spirit guides ancestors archangels the light for a sign signal symbol synchronicity this readings for you so whether you're new or old to the channel, welcome. If you like the content I create, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. If you are trying to figure out what part do you play in this particular reading for Ophetius, look at your Chiron. The planet that Ophetius comes from is Chiron. So go ahead and look at that. That's how you'll know what part you play in this particular reading. And again, Ophetius are born from November 30th to December 17th. This is for Ophetius. Ophetius is the future. Ophetius is future. This could be energy that's in your environment, someone you're energetically connecting to. Okay? Or your future energy. Ophetius is future, please. Oof, we got a lot going on. Ophetius is future. Mm -hmm. Two of Cups. Venus and Cancer could be Leo. Oh, I love to see it. I love to see it. Grand Rising, by the way, for me. Roki, Roka, <laughs> and um, Aqua. So the twin pit bull terrier boys are knocked out right now. It's 6 a.m. And I just got done filming for cancer. Then I did, I made a whole presentation for class today. And then I'm doing your reading. Then I have back-to-back -back classes throughout the day, starting this morning, and a presentation. So, Grand Rising, thank you so much for being here. The Two of Cups. Eyes, all eyes on you, all eyes on you. This is love that is seen mutually, like you guys both love each other. You guys both see love the same way. You see the cups with the roses coming out? There's love. There's beautiful, beautiful love. Masculinity and femininity. I feel like you're also in harmony with yourself. Somebody wants to kiss you. <laughs> Three of Wands. Sun and Aries. Someone wants to kiss you. It looks like a lot of you in the future are getting into a long distance travel romance or a long distance relationship. You could also be communicating long distance to someone, a vocal exchange of emotion. This is interesting. I feel like you realize it's okay to love. It's okay to love. It's okay to love someone. This looks like this is a where the sun typically is, the Leo energy. And with the snakes, there's a lot of kundalini. A new way has been born. I feel like saying a new way has been born. You don't, you, you, okay, there's two, okay. You see someone completely differently and they see you completely differently. I don't care how long you've known this person. This is a relationship that is going to become your main priority in the future. Whether it's a friendship or a relationship. The Three of Wands, Sun, in Aries. I feel like this is a message. Because you have the pencils. I do feel like this is a message. This is planning. You could be traveling as well. Someone could be from another country or another state. Or they're very far away from you. But, um... This is like finally getting what you wish for. Finally getting what you wish for. I also see a will, trust, fund, and or an inheritance coming in towards you. From someone passing away. Okay. Oof. And the Nine of Cups. This is just such beautiful energy. It's just so gorgeous. Um realizing that you need to look at the other two cups this love offer i feel like this love is coming from i don't know why i feel like it's from behind you 
Some of me also like the way that you, you know, your body looks, okay? They like, they like, they like what they see, okay? But someone is, um, they especially like, uh, they like your ass. Somebody likes your ass, okay? I'm just gonna say it, I see it. Um, but what's interesting is, three of wands to the five of cups. I honestly feel like saying, um, a lot of people are infatuated with you. They are infatuated. People like are falling in love with you. Doesn't matter their gender. It's just like people are gravitating towards you. This could be like friendship wise. People are like they they are daunting on you. There's an infatuation. This can be romantically. There's a lot of people romantically interested in you. You're a very loving energy. You could also be like a psychic shaman medium seer a healer because we got the queen of cups out here with all these ladybugs this is also manifestation from the heart right from the cranial it's, it's more so of this energy of if by doing everything with good intention doing everything from your heart it leads to success and i'll show you why um you have Someone's coming up, okay, this person is most likely at a distance. Their communication catches you off guard. Off guard. Someone approaches you. It, it's almost like he's coming up from behind her. They approach you with like a, a message, a flirtation. You have the Six of Wands, Jupiter, and Leo. A lot of people like to say that they know you. This is also success, though. This is fame. This is victory. Victory. Overcoming. Um... Things not working out absolutely the way you thought they would, regardless of what portion that is in your life. And still charging ahead. It makes me feel like you're still charging ahead. This is very successful. You're very independent. This is like, um, I feel like it's very independent. Like, you could be becoming successful by yourself. And there's someone coming up from behind you. Like, I don't know why I keep saying from behind you. But someone's coming up, like, you just can't see them. You can't see him, but you let you like you like this person though. So you let them, you know, approach you. I feel like you're already connected to this person in somewhere. Uh, Jupiter and Pisces with the Nine of Cups. This is your wish coming true. Make a wish. <laughs> Make a wish. Make a wish. Make a wish. <laughs> This is also self-love, complete wish fulfillment within oneself, being grateful. I feel like saying being being very grateful. There's roses everywhere. There are roses like in flowers. Somebody loves flowers or they love roses. They love pretty stuff. <laughs> um, this is Saturn and Jupiter. You're most like you most likely have multiple incomes, okay? Like you make money. Through multiple incomes, multiple businesses. You may own multiple businesses. You may also have a lot of responsibility. Two of Pentacles is like, I got a to-do list. I got a to-do list. So you got a lot to do. But you're getting it all done because you're the magician. Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio. Look at that. Look at the cornucopia. Look at the cornucopia. This is independence. This is something you manifested. This is a real, This is a connection that will not only be your main you think the world of someone or someone's literally like across the world from you or extremely far away from you they could be an aquarius taurus seal scorpio or a capricorn there are roses everywhere i don't know why this is even re relevant but there's so many flowers um someone could be a florist as well you guys are like you're going to be best friends and lovers this person matches Sorry, it just said, uh, there it is, 20%. <laughs> um, this person with the magician, they meet all of your expectations. Okay, they're very powerful. They man This is manifested. So, regardless if it's, this is like, you know, magicians, mask, divine masculine energy, but we all have masculine energy. The masculine energy, regardless of gender, manifested this. This is also you manifesting this into your life. This isn't talking about, oh, well, I'm just going to wait around for someone to show up and da, da, da. No, 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 This is about taking the world in your own hands and instilling that, you know, 
masculine energy within yourself and manifesting the type of relationship you want. You say you want, you know, someone who's going to check off all your boxes or even push you to um, be better than you were the day before. Da, 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 da. It starts with embodying the type of energy you would even like to be with. You say you want someone who's successful, then become successful. Embody success. You say you want someone educated, go get an education. Go to school. Go to class. You say you want someone who makes a lot of money. I want him to make a lot of money. Make your own. Start a business. Look at your bank account. Is it full? Embody the energy you want to attract. I want someone sweet and kind and compassionate and just, you know, spoils me rotten. Or are you giving that to yourself? Because you don't need anyone else to do it for you. That's what this is about. It's very interesting, but I like it. it it's, it's got that vibration to it. It's like you want someone, you really want someone. It's people fall in love with the, the, People fall in love with what has been sold to us about what a woman is or what a man is. And majority of the time, that particular interpretation is from someone who isn't even in touch with that particular energy within themselves. Do you get what I'm saying? We embody masculine and feminine energy. This is manifestation. This is a salesman. Someone could be a salesman. Or like a, a they can. Oh my goodness! You see how my uh, trying to communicate to you. Hmm. Two of Wands, Aries, Scorpio. The magician is communication. This is communication. Someone's communicating. This is like someone is communicating towards someone that they see as like a lover and a best friend, someone they want to be that in their life as well. You're very independent, whether you're masculine or feminine. But the two of wands, this is, it goes from the two of wands to the three of wands, which I love. The two of wands is about the planning. It's about the, let me make the wish. This is make a wish. You're literally being reminded. You keep saying one, 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 or you keep saying one, 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 or you keep saying 11, 11, or you keep saying one, one, one. You keep saying a lot of ones. Okay, you keep saying a lot of ones or fours. Like four, 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 something about fours is important to you. It's all about stability and planning and order, right? Balance and security within oneself, mothering and parenting of oneself. But the two of wands is also seeking love online. So, okay, someone's making a draft. Okay, someone's making a draft. They're making a draft of the message that they're going to be sending to someone. Someone's making a draft. Before they actually say something to someone, it really doesn't matter the gender. Someone's going to say something to someone. Okay? And it's it sets off like a, a chain reaction of abundance. So this could be like a friend. This could be someone you're already in a relationship with. This is someone from your past. Most likely a friend. Six of Cups is majority of the time a, it's someone from your past that's like a, a, a lover and a friend. It's like someone that you have sweet memories with. But um could be someone you knew from elementary school, middle school, high school, college, or the past. This is someone or from your past life, from a, a life that you've already lived before. You guys keep meeting each other each time. What are the odds that you meet each other the way you meet them? How'd you meet this person? How'd you meet them? What were the odds of it being that manner? What state was it in? Where were you? Who connected you to? That's what you process that the, the odds of that, the odds of that are insane. This is a scandal as well, Mars and Gemini. Someone's also having a breakdown. Um, someone's having like some type of breakdown. This is also nostalgia. Okay, but this is a uh, six of cups is also symbolic of coming back together with someone from your past, okay? It's also symbolic of um, someone where it's just such sweet memories. It is most likely a friend where there's some level of sweetness or romantic interest in, but you may have never took it further than that. It always 
was like the five of cups, right? It never amounted to what, like it never got far, right? It never got into like a relationship. It never became a couple, right? Someone's also less defensive, Mars and Leo, okay? But I also feel like putting down some type of guard or like if you've been very like defensive and stuff, that's been put down to allow to become more receptive. I also feel like you're figuring out you don't have to, what's it called? You don't have to shove your beliefs um, towards other people. You don't have to do that. Because the truth is people are going to believe what they want to believe at the end of the day anyways. So it's really about what do you believe, right? I think you're figuring out what is it that you believe, which is instilling a brand new perspective. And here you have the King of Wands. Cancer, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio. You get exactly what you want with the Nine of Cups. You get what you want. I also feel like if you're in a relationship, it is very, you could be dealing with a Scorpio. You got death at the bottom. Um, if you're in a relationship, you feel like it's very stressful and you don't stand up against your partner. You rather your partner get what they want. Okay. That's for, for some of you, you're learning how to stand up to your partner. Others of you with the King of Wands, this person is like very uh, well-known, popular, um, very attractive. So people are, you know, they gravitate to this person naturally. So you may always feel like you're dealing with interferences in the relationship. But with the King of Wands, you might also feel like it's very demanding. This person needs attention from you. It's, very, it's, a, it's a demanding uh, relationship. Some of you feel like you've become this person's mother or you're tra this is transforming. So you could be transforming as an individual. The relationship could be transforming as well. You may also feel like this person's mother if you're in a relationship or you feel like, because I see like there's luck and there's the eyeball because you see all these clovers. Death can even symbolize an old flame is coming back. Someone from your past, someone, someone from the past. I like someone who it, it was you know it was there was some attraction some feeling of you know love or fire with this person in the past and they're coming back if you're in a relationship you feel like uh, well if you're in a relationship your partner may have subconsciously picked you to replace the role of their mother in their life And the sun, Leo. Oh, I love this. This is so gorgeous. Love at first sight. This is love at first sight. <laughs> this is love at first sight. Knight of Wands, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. If you're in a relationship, you could be falling in love all over again with the person you're already in a relationship with. Some of you are going to be traveling or giving birth to a son. Or you love your job. You may be very busy, but you love what you do. Knight of Wands, I feel like you're you're having fun. Why do I this could be same sex, Knight of Wands, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, the Magician, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, others of you, you're manifesting the two of cups by having fun. You're manifesting a relationship, a connection where you can be best friends and lovers with somebody. You can make this your main, you know, commitment or something like that. You, you can make this something that's a big priority to you and is very important to you, right? Someone you can work with, someone who's very powerful, somebody who gets you. This is someone who just gets you. The magician is someone who just gets you romantically. You may be a traveling couple. You may be traveling. Some of you are manifesting a trip. You could be traveling. You may meet this person while traveling with the Knight of Wands. Um, I, just, I feel like this is a very um, inspired energy. It's very go-getter. And your perspective has changed. You see how even when this card came out, it could have been like, oh, there's a negative connotation that you can attach to any card, just through your perspective, any way of, or form of life. But the way that I see this card is freedom. Literally feeling free. You can go wherever the hell you want to go, Ophetius. Or whoever you're connecting to can. Um, they're manifesting communication. This person's coming in quick. And they're a show off. I think you sort of like that. This person's going to catch your attention. Going to catch your attention. 
they move fast. Temperance. Sagittarius, they move fast. This is two people who know how to have a relationship. Okay? Um, this is also, wow, this is so gorgeous. This is also, you guys are opposites. The opposites attract. I like how she's walking up the steps. It's literally walking up the steps. You see all this greenery? I just did, uh, uh, made a I just made a presentation on herbivores. And this it makes me feel like the greenery, the fact that vegetation is something that's extremely important because it gives us oxygen. It helps with the climate change, right? There's grace. You see how she has uh, ballet slippers? I'm having difficulty communicating. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm having like um, a level of difficulty. This is about communication. Huh. She's walking up the steps, almost like the sun comes out with temperance. Like she's opening up about these emotions. She's opening up about a transformation because you have the butterfly wings and flying right into a new life with the three of wands into something into it's, you know, it's pencil. Pencil is not permanent. So it means you're making plans and going after them true but you're learning see if it was a pen you would know the information to keep it permanent but it's a pencil so it means you don't know everything you're willing to learn something new okay temperance is also saying um you also have judgment so this is an awakening ha! libra Aries, scorpio capricorn it's also a reconciliation okay um judgment is also like this is what's meant to be like the universe is interfering into this situation um a fresh start better health okay um i'm seeing a lot of sperm someone could get pregnant okay it could be like a shocking pregnancy or something but temperance is also signifying um this love stands the test of time so you most likely have known this person for a long time also feel like you're realizing there's steps you're taking steps to enlightenment <laughs> i sort of like this taking steps to enlightenment someone's also working out something about magnolias or vanilla Ooh, vanilla i just had vanilla ice cream like a couple of days ago vanilla king of swords capricorn aquarius super gemini this is someone who's a professional, a chef, a doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, transformative, very innovative. You know, he has mushrooms around him. So you maybe lucid dream, remote view channeling. Um, your downloads most likely come through your head, not necessarily like your heart and stuff. It usually comes from your head, from your thought process, right? You're like, oh my God, that's a genius idea. That's a download. That's a download. That little voice inside your head, it's your conscience. It's just AKA spirit, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> the world. I feel like I'm having so much fun with you, Fifi. Okay, <laughs> the world, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Capricorn. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. King of Swords is also, um, you know, if you're in a relationship, this is a very independent person. You may have children with this person. You may be contacting a lawyer. Yeah, you could be contacting a lawyer. You have the world laughing at the... You're famous on the World Wide Web, or you're about to be. That's what's coming up in the future. You're being publicly recognized. Like, a lot of people are, like, recognizing your work. And they're like, look, you're doing amazing, Ophetius. You bring peace and harmony and love to this world. And you encourage it to be brought out of other people simply by free will and discernment to embody it within yourself. You don't control other people. People control themselves. King of Swords, though, you're very intelligent. You're very smart. You do stuff with technology. You could be a writer, doctor, psychologist. I just heard spiritualist. Okay, philosopher. You're a counselor. Some of you know a lot about plants or something like that. You know a lot about plants or nature or something. That's cool. 
But you see clearly why certain things did not work out in the past. Okay, and the person who's coming to you, the person that's coming to you is also very direct and honest. So you can't really confuse what they're trying to say. Yeah, Knight of Swords, you can't con confuse what this person's trying to say. Taurus, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Can't confuse it. Nine of Cups, Knight of Swords. If you're in a relationship, your spouse um, is very competitive with you. Rather you know that or not, they're very competitive. And there's the devil. Capricorn. They're very competitive. Three of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Mars and Capricorn. This is a work relationship. You most likely, you most likely know this person from work, the military. You may work with like taxes, finances, accounting. You know this person from work or you're meeting someone at work, okay? So yeah, three of pentacles. This is also school, maybe meet someone at school, work, class, all right? But the knight of swords, this is also communicating what you want and being very confident about it. But I also feel like someone is very competitive. This could be someone you know, okay? Could be like a family member, like a brother, right or a friend or something like that someone's just naturally competitive about that in a relationship if you're in a relationship someone's very competitive i also feel like if this is a friend someone's very vocal about what they want the devil is here to enlighten you to lighten your load. Hold on. Okay. It said 10%. I'm probably going to put you on the charger in a second. Um, the devil is here to teach you to lighten your load. Yeah. Let me put you on the charger. One sec. Okay. Amazing. We're back. All right. So. Oh, I've never seen it like that. Okay. So some of you are going to realize you are juggling your happiness and then you're juggling the devil. So this could be a person. This could be a thing, an addiction, a vibration, an energy, something. What you're juggling is something extremely toxic, someone extremely toxic, and then you're juggling your happiness. Okay, your joy. So I'm going to do a little clear. You're severing ties with someone as well. You could be going through a rape, murder, crime, divorce, or a breakup. You may also be going to therapy to talk to a counselor or a therapist or something to let them know about, you know, your past. Disappointing moments from your past, whether that's childhood or relationships or anything like that. Or talking about a divorce or a breakup that's, you know, painful. There's a secret love here. It could be a Cancer or a Pisces that had the moon at the bottom of the deck. It's a secret, though. It's a secret. A lot of fear. Why is that there? Okay. I was like, why is it? I was wondering why the, um, what's it called? I was wondering why the devil was there so this is clarifying the devil knight of cups in reverse aquarius cancer pisces scorpio queen of pentacles in reverse capricorn sagittarius towards virgo and the three of pentacles mars and capricorn so oh this is very interesting so check you know your chiron where do you have officious in your astrological chart okay um, when I do my 13 sign chart, my Ophi like Ophicia shows up in my anti-vertex, which is about what you contribute to your fate and destiny. Take that as confirmation. Um, and then in my Chiron, it's uh, Libra. So I'm always seeking to bring balance, <laughs> basically, in all like connections, relationships that I have, different things like that. Um, and balance within myself because I can't control my connections or anything like that or people in general. 
But the devil is, I think it's a relationship. You have money ties to somebody like this could be work. This could be school. This could be someone you live with. This could be like your mother. Knight of Cups in reverse. Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. I, some of you have an underlining hate for the opposite sex and it derives from your mother. Someone does not like the opposite sex, but it's because of their mother. That's going to resonate for some of you. Others of you, you're in a relationship with the Queen of Pentacles and then you have the Knight of Cups. And you guys, maybe you live together. You guys could definitely live together. Okay? This could be mother and son. This could be family. This could be work. This could be your lover. Now, with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, this is an unfaithful spouse, okay, or feminine energy, girlfriend, wife, whatever you want to call it. Someone who does not want to be in a relationship anymore, um, or they don't want to be in a relationship with you, so just take it as a resume, or you don't want to be in a relationship with someone, okay, whoever the Queen of Pentacles is, all right? Um, this is also someone who's very stingy, not financially grounded or they could even marry for money this is someone who would get in a relationship for money they there's a lack of respect for oneself uh they could be overweight underweight they could be jealousy this is major jealousy queen of pentacles versus major jealousy bad management of money or they are um For some of you, this is even business, okay? So they could be bad at business, okay? Bad at their business. Knight of Cups from a versus is, um, you're not, you're taking back a proposal from somebody. You're taking back a proposal from someone. Now, you may live with this person, or you've combined finances with this person, okay? This would be someone where, like, we share bank accounts, Three of Pentacles, we share bank accounts. We share something like a home together, right? Um, I have your credit card. You have my credit card. Um, but this is also about saying, okay, it's two people trying to work with the divine, right? To make something work. But the truth is, it's not working because it's toxic. So the divine is stepping in with the Three of Pentacles, right? Which is about... Um, spirit basically intervening but what it's showing is what you're juggling so okay it can resonate that you're very comfortable wherever you are but it's not what's best for you because you see how even here you have the course which is about freedom and is about liberation sagittarian energy adventure right adventure you're tied because the devil means you're tied to something you don't want to be tied to you're tied to something with the knight of cups in reverse queen of pentacles in reverse someone is moody jumping to conclusions or cheating this could be a path this is a pathological liar and a serial cheater or someone who's not very feeling very creative you're not motivated creatively right now you could be going out drinking with friends you may become more honest when you drink as well um, there may be an addiction, okay? Queen of Pentacles in reverse could also be stealing or theft. You have, at the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, so a new beginning. Could be a new, brand new person coming into the picture. Someone can't have children with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this could literally be like your mother, all right? Like she's already had her children, she can't have any more. This could be your partner. So either she's already had children or she can't have children and she just never had any. Okay, um, whoever this is not healthy. Yeah, someone's taking back a proposal from somebody though. They don't. They they don't care about if we got credit cards together or you rely on me financially or whatever's going on. Someone doesn't care. Give me that one more. Yeah, it's a it's been a secret, but it's it's been a secret. Cancer Pisces, but now it's coming out. Or someone's finally telling. Yeah, it's a someone is finally saying how they really feel. 
And the truth is coming from the higher font, Taurus and the Queen of Swords, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, a professional. So you could be seeing a professional, someone who's not biased, someone who's just going to tell you the whole truth, okay? Someone is helping, encourage, oh, I love this. Oh, this is so freaking beautiful. Someone is encouraging here the, someone is encouraging you. It's someone who's not biased with the Queen of Swords. They're honest, they're chatty, funny, witty, but they're intelligent. So a woman could be like a doctor, lawyer, teacher, counselor, um, someone who's just going to tell you the whole truth. This looks like black tourmaline underneath here, so she's protected, protected away from negative energy. Okay? What I'm seeing is the emperor is dropping the burden here. Dropping the burden of something toxic. This could be the masculine energy within you doing this. This could be someone else doing this. Someone is stepping up and saying, yes, I do want commitment. I do want commitment. But they're dropping the burden. So that you're dropping the burden of someone who could be dependent on you for like money. The moon. Infidelity. There's major infidelity going on here and that's why it's toxic. You could even live with someone possibly or... Something like that, but the person is dating or doing whatever they want to do. And you're doing whatever you want to do. But you have the higher font. This could be a marriage. You could be getting help from counselors. Psych, um, you could be getting help from psychics, shamans, tarot card readers. This could be a spiritual guru, teacher, priest. Um, the emperor is saying, though, someone knows what they want. Aries Scorpio. They know where they're going. They do want a commitment. They do want something real. You could be a father as well. Um, this is someone who is very vocal that I do want commitment. The lips are on his chest. Right? Someone wants to kiss your chest as well. Um, I see you getting rid of a lot of responsibilities to make room, energetic space for a commitment. You could be getting rid of um, commitments you've had towards family or friends or whatever that got in the way of you going towards a real commitment that you want to be with or be in. So, yeah. That's what we got there. Okay. Very interesting. Right. Yeah, but something about someone being unfaithful, that comes out. That comes out. Okay, I think it does make you angry. Yeah, skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. Okay. It's hidden, okay? Skull, like, skull can literally mean, like, what's been buried, right? It's a uh, hidden energy. It's like hidden secrets, hidden knowledge. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. Some of you are dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. A lot of you are also going through some type of ending, like um, some kind of divorce. That all wanted to come out, and I don't know if I should take all of that. <laughs> should I take all of it? I'm going to take all of it. It came out for a reason. Candle, you will be shown the way. All right. So you can be done with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio. You got the moon changes in your life. Could be done with a Cancer, a Pisces, Gemini, or a Virgo. This is also about your heart, though. Changes will be happening in your life because you're now not only just following your heart, but speaking your heart. Lion, time to act. You could be done with a Leo. You got egg, success, assured with good plans and hard work. So the birth of something new, fertility. This could be the birth of a new relationship, new job, even for some of you. Some of you work with children, like you're a teacher. You miss working with children or you, you miss helping children. Someone misses helping children. You, you really do help children. You miss it, though. You miss it. You miss it. In order to do what you want in your career, you're going to have to be more competitive. So don't just say, oh, well, I shouldn't go after that job because I know other people are more qualified for it and they're going to get it. Just go after it anyways. Because you're good at what you do. You do help, okay? So they're telling you your mission, King of Swords, does lie with helping children, okay? Don't give that up just because of the circumstances that we're in in this economy, Go after it anyways. Go after what you love to do anyways. 
you may be you may have a sick mother or you have a sick wife or girlfriend spouse okay I do see that as well like you're trying to take care of 50 million people you could be trying to take care of a mother and a masculine energy as well because knight of cups this can be like your this could be someone in your family cousin brother this could even be a friend you could be trying to take care of people right but what you're being revealed to because the moon is about mothering and fathering and fear being revealed what you're being revealed is you got to make sure you take care of yourself as well how are you doing emotionally someone may even ask you that with the jaguar here it's bold it's daring finger warning you of a problem either now or in the near future for a lot of you if you're in a relationship someone's a player or they're taking back their love you could just be taking back your love if you're in a relationship or someone's they, they, i see someone cheating or they're they're not if you're if you're feeling like because we're, sometimes the downloads come so quickly i'm trying to get them all out queen of pentacles is someone who will nurture the relationship right someone you can see all these nurturing abilities about someone who is the rock of the relationship accountable someone who's traditional they they are someone you can count on to have a routine so it's not like the relationship is up and down all over the place right this person is not nurturing the relationship because they have someone else that's why they're not nurturing it if this is about a commitment or they're not nurturing it because they feel like the that there's been a proposal taken back or that the love is not there that it's not real with the knight of cups in reverse like someone's just going to tell you what you want to hear but it's not actually real so either that is the reason why this person is not nurturing it or because there's already someone else like this this person could be in a relate like if you're in a relationship the person could be cheating outside of the relationship both of you could be or someone like there's something toxic here this could be family or it's a relationship okay all right that's what i'm saying there could be work could be any portion that resonates for you someone you have money ties to or you guys share credit cards and stuff like that bird perch waiting for news package or letter or this person works with money this person could work in the military with money There's something about this. Someone is willing to be connected to someone for stability. Someone's, someone's willing to be with someone just for stability. That's why it's the devil. But that's being revealed for you to be able to go after the sun, which is the masculine energy. You may also be revealed that 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 you were delusioned or you over romanticized someone you're already in a relationship with a queen of pentacles or you over romanticized in a capricorn sagittarius towards virgo you romanticize them and then you're now realizing they're not who you thought they were. It's like their their mask comes off with the moon in reverse. And they're not nurturing at all. They could be a taker. Like they take money or something or they, they want to. Some of you are getting married or you're already married. <laughs> okay. Some of you, I see you getting in a relationship or a commitment. There's an emperor coming in. Uh hidden energy for you was cat a two-faced woman oh i said a two i said a two-faced woman but it's a two-faced friend so i don't say anything by accident so someone could have a cat or they like cats okay cat can be like your spirit animal or something cats are good at hiding their emotions um they don't like they're very uh this is catty. It's catty. Okay. It's uh someone wants you to stay unhealthy. With the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, they want you to stay unhealthy. Okay. 
Okay. They may even reveal to you that they've cheated or something like that. Two-faced. The two-faced friend is a Capricorn Sagittarius Taurus Virgo. Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Knight of Cups in reverse. Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. That's um, or a Capricorn because it was all clarified by the devil could be a Capricorn or a Sagittarius. I also see Cancer and Pisces. Aries and Scorpio. That's what I'm seeing there. Any of that can be, uh, you know, two-faced, like someone showing you two sides, but that's not really who they are. Okay? So be wary of that. It will be revealed to you, the moon. We do have a new moon coming up in Pisces. Can't really hide much of anything. You got Widow, Black Priestess of Varda, Widow. So you could be single. Yeah. For a lot of you, you're actually single, which leaves you available to take in a new relationship. You're, you're taking good care of yourself, focusing on yourself. Someone's paying attention to you and they want your attention. Hi, baby. Good morning, Grand Rising, baby. I like you, you little booby booby. Roke is such a morning person, it's so crazy. Um, but you have pride. So someone has a lot of pride. A lot of pride. Someone also thinks that keeping, like, okay, so say you guys do share credit cards or you share whatever you share, like a home or, or assets together or something like that you bought something together you had a child together or you got married or something like that someone feels like that means um that they can do whatever they want or they don't have to nurture the relationship someone could be hi baby someone um with the queen of pentacles in reverse is not taking good care of themselves, whether that's health wise or whatever. They're just not taking good care of themselves. They could be bad at uh, their money management as well. But I see a lot of you are single. You could be a Libra, Aries, Scorpio, or a Capricorn. I say that because you have 20, there's 20 cents at the side of this. So it's an awakening. Hi, baby. Robot nemesis. Huh. Okay. So, is future. All right. Boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now. Okay. So, um, the seven of wands in reverse, that's lack of boundaries. That's a cycle you're completing where you didn't have any, like, you didn't, there was no boundaries. There's no boundaries in something, whatever that may be. Okay, there's no boundaries. It feels like it's the dynamic between the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups and the Devil. That's literally what it looks like. There's no boundaries. Okay. For a lot of you, someone does not put up boundaries if you're in a relationship because they know it's not stable, anyways. And they don't feel like they're being nurtured. You could be smothering your spouse, your girlfriend, whoever. Queen of Pentacles in reverse could be your mother. Someone's smothering, okay? Balance. Mm -hmm. Hi, baby. One person is giving too much in this relationship. Someone's giving way too much. It could be monetarily. It could be something completely based off of money. Someone's giving way too much and not getting anything back. All right? It's imbalanced. This is imbalanced. Someone could also be moving or relocating. Hi, baby. You have strong connection. And you have ooh, putting in the effort. 
So someone will be putting in the effort. You are heading towards a strong connection. You could be leaving behind family. Hi, baby. You could be leaving behind family, friends. Hold on, you guys. You have merchant. And you have foe. Okay? But it's all about you not being able to trust somebody. You can't trust somebody. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi, booby. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Ugh. You have Diana Ross and Jimi Hendrix. Okay, come on. Come on, baby. Okay. All right. Jimi Hendrix, only losers stay in tune. If you live in a room full of mirrors, all you see is yourself. Technology is a tool, but it will never set you free. Some of you are... You spend a lot of time online. I also feel like you could be a business owner with the King of Wands. You could be a business owner, okay? Or you do like, um, you're a lawyer or a chef or a doctor or a psychologist, philosopher. You may be into sales. You may be a salesman or in a communication. Some of you work with children. Or you model, you rap, you dance, you sing or... You're, you're well known with the King of Wands in the spotlight. Some of you are famous, okay? Some of you are definitely famous. Masculine, feminine does not really matter. Okay. So, Diana Ross, make sure they never see the last of you. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing in a bob gown. You can be better. You can be a better you can be a better you than anyone else. Um, a lot of you get lost in technology to escape your true identity. It's like you don't want to really see yourself. Even if you look at the clouds and the birds and stuff, he doesn't actually want to see himself. Doesn't actually want to see himself. He played in a particular tune each song that plays to the frequency of the human ear. He was extremely intelligent. It says voodoo child behind him. I love that. Some of you believe in magic. You have Diana Ross, which is simply saying no one can do what you do. Doesn't matter what you do. No one can do it the way you do it. Let that be your gift. The gift isn't the recognition. The gift <laughs> isn't the fame. Leo energy, fifth house, creativity. It's not about that. It's about expressing yourself completely for who you are. And the truth is, some people will like it, some people won't. But at least you're being your authentic self. It's not about being recognized, the fame, the clout, whatever. When you're in the dirt, right, and you passed away, and you can't smell the flowers that are being put on your tombstone, the only thing that will even remotely matter is how you made other people feel. That's all that'll matter. The job you do is something only you can really do a particular way. So realize you are in complete competition with yourself. Okay? Be aware of that. Black Moon Lilith, mystery. 12, breaking down into a 3. So Taurus, Libra. Pisces, um, this particular card actually represents the Queen of Swords, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, okay? Um, but breaking down the number 12 breaks it down to, um, this is enlightenment, and also being able to look at your community more clearly to have up proper boundaries. Uh, the Queen of Swords is also, when we're talking about Black Moon Lilith, we are talking about... Um, We're talking about the most, one of the most sacred parts of your being, which is one of the most animalistic 
parts of you. Lilith is about the mo one of the most animalistic um, parts of you regarding femininity, whether you're a man or a woman. Like when you really, 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 really want something, the independence as a woman, right? That's what Lilith is in everybody, man or woman. It's that sense of independence. Lilith was very vocal that she did not want to be submissive to Adam. Right? She didn't want to be submissive. Um, she felt like she wanted things to be a particular way. She felt like she wanted to keep her power, essentially. But the truth was, the balance came between Adam and Eve because they knew that they were not just equals, but they were meant to elevate each other's actual energy. So this is about looking at things crystal clear. You also have um, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo. He's very vindictive. Very vindictive. Okay? Spirit's trying to warn you about something that will later be revealed to you. What is that? What's the vindictive part about this whole thing? What's the vindictive part? Be seeing. Okay. Page of Wands. Give me one more. Ace of Wands. Okay. So, this is what's going on. So, I was trying to sort of figure out where it was heading, necessarily. All right. You have Page of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio. You have the Emperor. Aries, Scorpio. Two of Swords in Reverse, Moon and Libra, and the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio. This is a heart chakra awakening. The vindictiveness comes from there's a child here that's not yours. Page of Wands is in Reverse. There's a child here that doesn't look like you or something like that. Could also symbolize that there could be um, someone in your life that wants to give you negativity. They have nothing good to say they're jealous of you so this could it's a it's a it's masculine on this picture it doesn't have to be masculine but someone is jealous of the emperor because you're doing what's best for you you're heading towards um maybe even a promotion others if you took on some type of father role for a child that is not yours or something like that Okay. You have this new beginning with the Ace of Wands, and your heart is opening up the Two of Swords, Moon and Libra. This is a heart chakra awakening. This is a heart chakra. But the vindictiveness comes from um, them wanting to be very negative. Okay. You have so many positive things coming out here. I think you have a very masculine job, so you could be like a singer, rapper construction worker you do something with some type of tool the ace of wands this is also a new spark has been ignited so maybe you're interested in someone brand new within the next 11 days you have the moon soul the number two so you can be dealing with a cancer or a pisces but this is about following the heart this is about releasing illusion this is about coming finally into a sense of awareness the hidden energy was the knight of pentacles in reverse Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius. This is body dysmorphia, a theft, having no emotion for a situation, not being financially stable, unemployed. Nine of Pentacles members can also be someone who plays a lot of video games, okay? Because he's he's lost in the material, right? Um, as an escape from their reality. 
But he's also someone who doesn't have very like detailed conversations. He doesn't have real conversations simply because he's usually distracted by, you know, video games or whatever he's indulging in into his physical reality. But typically Knight of Pentacles is someone who, you know, is just not reliable. You can't rely on this person. Okay, there's big financial loss and bad financial news coming in as well. So be prepared for that. It just means be prepared. It doesn't mean it's going to stay like that forever. It means be prepared. The Knight of Pentacles, um, I see Moon and Sagittarius. I see the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and the Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All four are in reverse. So someone's receiving bad financial news or there's theft. So please be careful. There is theft. There is big financial loss, maybe over a purchase, over a car or a home or some type of bill you didn't know you'd have to pay for. You're going to be a little frustrated. Not even just a little. You're going to be frustrated, but you're going to handle this accordingly. Okay? The vindictiveness or whatever comes just from someone wanting to be negative. They're jealous or they literally wanted you to take care of a child that is that doesn't look like you or is not yours to take care of. Okay, so that could even be a family member or something like that. It does not have to be like a relationship or something. I made a promise to myself to be kinder to other people, Lena Horn. And I believe that you're here on earth for a short time and while you're here, you shouldn't forget it. Be your Arthur. Every portion, everything that you go through on this earth is important it's meant to help you see something within yourself to grow to expand this is about kindness and compassion even if someone doesn't want to be with you still wish them the best to go towards what does make them happy for themselves it's telling you to amplify your positive emotions officious the number seven have emotional maturity and discipline cancer uh, cancer energy go from the heart Get into those emotions. Take a step. Take a dive. And maintain your childlike spirit. Sagittarius energy 27 breaking down into a 9. This is about being kind to others. Okay, this is also about your awareness of how you create. How, how do you become more positive? It's about being in touch with your inner child. When you were a child, it was very easy to try to find some joy and happiness in literally almost anything. We never truly, what, what, one of the things I've always said is you're not raising children. You're raising children to be adults, essentially. Because they're going to be, you're raising someone who's going to be an adult. You're not really raising a child. They're going to be an adult a lot longer than they're going to be a child. All right. So you have holding back. Okay. So you could be feeling held back by the people in your environment the people you're connecting to, or someone who just doesn't want to see you win. Wish people the best. Let them be happy. There is no reason to be negative. There's no reason to uh, gossip. There's no reason to be jealous. There's no reason to be vengeful. There's no reason to steal, okay? Never a reason for that. Partner, or to use someone for money. Summer. And memory. Someone could be born in the summer. Something could be happening in the summer. You could be coming together with this person in the summer. One card. Okay, that was quick. Adventurous spirit and secret desire. So if you have wanted someone secretly, that will be coming out. Someone is definitely putting in the effort, though, as the emperor and the knight of wands and the magician and the king of wands and the king of swords. Okay. Let's see. Evolution. Evolving is a part of life and it can involve many personal changes. Although this process takes time, you will emerge beautifully transformed. This is all part of the plan to prepare you for the next steps of your journey. Vibes. Your energy speaks louder than words, so it's important to be cognizant of not only your vibes, but those of your surroundings. If at any point the vibe feels off, grab a crystal, center yourself, and or exit stage left. Okay. You could be dealing with a Scorpio with the evolution or a Leo. Okay, some of you will be uh, going to go get some crystals. And if you're in a financial struggle, financial bind, this will get better. Okay? Um, during this time, this is not the time to loan anybody any money or anything like that, okay? Because whatever money is loaned, it will not come back. 
be aware of that. Something about bees is important here. People are flocking to someone like bees on honey. You got an elephant out here, forgiving but never forgetting. But this is also, you know, memories, even if it's from the past, not being so such a big deal anymore, just something you learn from. This actually came out sideways. There's a tower coming, Aries Scorpio. There's a tower coming. So you could literally be going through some type of divorce, breakup, ending. You have a skull here. Okay, it's like the Santa Marte uh, skull. So the death of something, you could feel like you're the mother of someone in your relationship, or you could literally, like, you could feel like that. Okay? Or... This is saying if you're single, you're not going to be single for very long. This is a huge transformation of something being blown up to allow something else in. And then you have the B, which is about working as a team, community, sweetness. People could be flocking to you. Okay. Very interested in what it is that you do or what you make. It will be revealed. I was looking at this card. It will be revealed. It will be revealed. If someone stole or cheated on you or did something, it will be revealed. They're very um, mean. Queen of Pentacles reverse is very mean. 21. They don't have, they could be racist. They don't have any like uh, conscience. Okay, like no, there, there's no conscience there. The number drawn is 21, no day for game, but lots of fun. The fates decree you're apt to be an heir to land and wealth, but don't depend on this for, but work and win success yourself. You'll receive a legacy from an almost unknown and not much respected relative. You will get your wish, but not very soon. So there's some type of wish here that you've been wishing for. Hmm. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. Right. I heard pull one more card, so I'm gonna pull one more card. One more card for Ophelius. Responsible and self-absorbed. So yeah, whoever you're dealing with could be self-absorbed. I see that with the Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles all in reverse. And the Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, which is like someone feels like they really, really, really need to show off. It's not necessary. Whatever is meant for you will be for you. Okay? And if someone doesn't see your value, it's because they're not your vibrational, energetic elevator. Not your match. We, we don't do matches. We do elevators. People who elevate are you know energy so um thank you so much for being here you like the flow right the way you like the vibe during the tribe feel free to comment like and subscribe this has been officious's reading officious are born from november 30th to december 17th and thank you for being here all right if you have to put up some proper boundaries with people whether that's you know friends family work whatever do what's best for you okay especially if it's about your money okay your stability or your overall well-being Go for it. Take good care of yourself. And I feel like this is a big cycle closing for you. You're also watching someone on the World Wide Web, or they're really far away from you, like in another country, world, something of that nature. All right. Um, I also see you arguing. There's arguing with someone, but it's going nowhere. So don't argue. There's no point in arguing. If there's something about an argument, there's no point. Okay. It's not going to go anywhere. You have the, your point of view. The other person has their point of view. And y'all are, are clashing rather than coming up with the actual solution. It's delaying you from your future. So that's what I got. Later, Ophelia.